What's up guys, today's rambling is going to be about two concepts that were introduced in the 2005 IDW Transformers comics. Those concepts being outliers and 0.1 percenters. Starting off with outliers, outliers are Cybertronians who have an, uh, an ability that is not linked to their alt mode. So here we have Hubcap, he is an outlier. He has mastery over electromagnetic signals like radio waves, he is a communication specialist, uh, but he just turns into a normal car. Those two things aren't linked at all, so he is an outlier. Other outliers include the Autobots, Wind Charger, and Trail Breaker. Uh, Wind Charger can magnetize his arms, and they also allow him to fly short distances. Uh, Trail Breaker can make force fields. Uh, Skywarp. The Decepticon Seeker Skywarp and Thundercracker are also outliers, Skywarp being able to teleport, Thundercracker being able to produce deafening sonic booms. Now on that note, uh, Thundercracker's status as a true outlier is somewhat dubious, considering he does turn into a jet, and we, we don't necessarily know his original alternate mode because he was rebuilt after coming under the tutelage of Starscream. So it's possible that he was just a normal bot that had, you know, a Cybertronian car alternate mode and he was able to produce sonic booms, which is why he eventually went to, I believe it was the, the, the G-Axis Academy. I don't remember the full name, but that's sort of where they took outliers to hone their skills. That's why he was taken there for a time before leaving. Uh, but his, his status as a true outlier is somewhat somewhat in question but uh moving on you also have the leader of the decepticon justice division tarn who is an outlier he turns into a tank uh i don't believe we know what his original alternate mode was but right right now well not right now because spoiler alert he, he sort of died so he's no more but before he died he could tur turned into a tank i believe and he could talk your talk you to death pretty much uh he he basically talked cybertronians into heart attacks he could talk to you in such a way that it would it would cause your spark to explode i know very very gruesome way to go out all the decepticon justice division are pretty gruesome one of them turns into an electric chair the other literally like grabs you with his little arms and puts you into like a grinder in his chest and turns you into scrap it's they're they're a brutal bunch maybe i'll do a video about them sometime but i'm i'm getting off track so tarn is actually a good way to segue into 0.1 percenter so what is a 0.1 percenter uh, a 0.1 percenter is a bot who has a super spark and who possesses special special abilities quotations special abilities now what is a super spark well, to discuss that, we have to go over what a normal spark is. So a spark is basically the heart of Transformer. It's the lifeblood. It's what allows them to live. Now, how do sparks come about? Sparks are born, quotations born, on what are known as hot spots. Uh, they normally glow a pale blue color, but every now and again, on rare occasion, a brilliant green spark will appear on a hot spot. And those are super sparks. And they're also, before they're even harvested, they're dangerous. If you unearth a super spark, it can release a burst of energy that will basically give you cancer. Like, uh, I don't know how else to say it. That's, that's the best approximation to what happens to you if you unearth a super spark. It gives you cancer. But uh, moving on. So, when a super spark is taken from a hot spot and forged, forging being the process of which you take a spark and you mold it and shape it and allow it to find its true form, which will then become a protoform. I believe it'll become a protoform. It, it'll basically become a child, which will then slowly develop into a fully fledged Cybertronian. I know they actually grow. They don't just get built and come out as full size robots. They do start as children at points. Surprising. Uh, but 0.1 percenters, you know, like Grimlock here, Megatron, Optimus, they all have super sparks. 
and th this is where it gets kind of weird because 0.1 percenters are presented as being special but they don't really they're special in the sense that a lot of them are strong they're heavy hitters so like grimlock as an example he's a very powerful bot he is a menace on the battlefield and any decepticon that comes up to him or autobot alike that gets in his way is going to be in for a bad time same thing with Megatron. Megatron's actually special because he is the only constructed cold bot. So constructed cold means that your body was built and had an artificial spark placed inside of it. Uh, an artificial spark that came from the matrix of leadership. Uh, but he, his body was constructed cold and through time travel shenanigans had a super spark implanted in it. So he is a special case. He is the only construct a cold bot who has a super spark <clears throat> excuse me uh optimus prime same not the same thing but he also has a super spark and his whole thing is just that he's strong he's inspiring he doesn't necessarily have a special quality about him now there is a select group within point one percenters who could be thought of as being special uh I'm sure you guys saw my video about my Ultra Magnus, you know, the, the mod video where I made him taller. Uh, so in the IDW comics, Ultra Magnus is not Ultra Magnus. Ultra Magnus died early on in the Autobot Decepticon War. The Ultra Magnus that is most often seen in the IDW comics is a little bot known as Minimus Ambus. He is what is known as a load bearer. So, after Ultra Magnus, the original Ultra Magnus died, uh, Chief Justice Tyrist, who is like the grand enforcer of law in the universe, I suppose. I suppose you could call him that. Excuse me. Uh, he made what is called the Magnus Armor to propagate the idea that Ultra Magnus is an immortal lawman. So more or less what happens is that a load bearer puts on the Magnus armor and if he's killed, he can hit a button or mortally injured. He can hit a button inside the armor that will more or less send the armor back to Chief Justice Tyrest, who will then find another load bearer to wear the armor. So in the comics, load bearers are thought of to be a type of 0.1 percenter. Uh, those uh, load bearers include, you know, Minimus Ambus, uh, Datum, Suture, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, and then the the bigger bots like Grimlock, Megatron, and Optimus are thought to be heavyweight class 0.1 percenters. They're just very strong. Uh, other ones of them include Black Shadow, uh, Fortress Maximus. Uh, Overlord, uh, the Decepticon, the Six Changer, Six Shot, uh, Scorponok, uh, Optimus's best friend, pre-war roller. They are what's known as the heavyweight class. Uh, but, guys, I think that'll be it. Uh, I know I rambled a little bit. I got a little lost in this stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying making these videos. They're fun. I'm having a fun time I'm doing a lot of takes a lot of takes my my throat is starting to hurt a little bit My mouth is getting a little dry So I guess I'll wrap it up and just say I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time And I hope you enjoyed my rambling peace out